one of the things that we've got to constantly remember this. God brings us through seasons. He prepares us. And one of the things he doesn't want you to do is bring the garbage from one season into a new season. He can't, you can't, see, when he puts you into a new season, you can't bring your old stuff in. Your old ways of attitude, your old ways of thinking, your old, he, everything's got to become new. That's why it becomes a new season. In Matthew 13, would everybody go there for a moment? Matthew 13. In verse 24. Is everybody there? Amen. Let's speak it together. In a parable he put forth to them saying, The kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seed in his field. But while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. But when the grain had sprouted and produced the crop, then the tares also appeared so the servants of the owner came and said to him, Sir, did you not sow good seed in your field? How then does it have tares? And he said to them, An enemy has done this. The servant said to him, Do you want us then to go and gather them out? But he said, No, lest while you gather up the tares, you also uproot the wheat with them. Let both grow together until the harvest. Until the what? The harvest. Everyone say harvest. And the time of the harvest, I will say to the reapers, first gather together the tares and bind them in the bundles to burn them. But gather the wheat into my barn. This is so powerful because it is profound of where we are right now. 2018 is a representation of witness of the one in a new beginning. It is the witness of the one and the new beginning. The tares are a representation of a noxious or poisonous. It means poisonous. It's very harmful. It's corrupt. It carries a corrupt plan. It causes dissension. While men are, were distracted, the enemy comes and plants these individuals a wickedness alongside the righteous for a period of time until the final harvest. Now is the beginning of the final harvest. In verse 37. Then he answered them and he, he said to them, He who sows the good seed is the son of man. The field is the world. The good seeds are the sons of the kingdom. But the tares are the sons of the wicked one. The enemy who sowed them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the age. And the reapers are the angels. The enemy who sowed them is the devil. Therefore, as the tares are gathered together, burned in the fire, so will be at the end of this age. The Son of Man will send out his angels, and they will gather out of his kingdom all things that offend and those who practice lawlessness. And will cast them into the fire and the furnace of fire. There will be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Then the righteous will shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their father. He who has ears to hear, let him hear. Thus says the Lord for 2018. This is my year for my people. This is the year of the terror. Now this terror is spelled T-E-A-R. It's associated with a ripping apart. It is also associated with tear. That's where it comes, tear drops. It will be the year of the terror and separation. As the commercial jet sets to its final approach and the turbulence around it increases the closer it gets, so will I create such turbulence in all dimensional realms that it will cause a tremendous tear globally and spiritually. As the garments were at once torn on my priests because of blasphemous acts and a repentant attitudes, so I will tear back the hidden evils that have provoked, provoked my anger. For I have heard the cries of the innocent as I have heard the cries of my people in the bondage of Egypt, and I made a way of escape for them. 
So I will do it again, says the Lord, for the righteous and the innocent. Those who refuse to set their hearts towards me will be snared by the traps of great delusion. For only true visual sight will be given to my righteous. Confusion will be common to those that do not know me. And common sense will become a stumbling block to the wicked. I do a new thing, says the Lord, that common sense cannot comprehend. Only by my spirit will it be understood. I will release the earlier and the latter rain that will rain on all mankind and give everyone an opportunity as we enter the season of plenty. For some, they will rain coals of fire and I will turn their wealth into ashes. And for others, I will increase their barns that have been set aside for my purpose to do my will. I will bless my people and cause jealousy to enter the hearts of the rebellious and cause curiosity to search me out. I will invade the treasures of darkness that belong to my people and I will expose the secrets that have been hidden from you and I will manifest my plan that I've hidden in your hearts. I will cause unity and healing to escalate in my body and my presence will become well known to my righteous. I will reject the haters and pretenders and will advance the lovers and worshipers of my presence. Those guided by my spirit and word, and word will maintain peace, joy, righteousness, and prosperity. Those that are constant, consistent, and enduring will find my favor and protection. I will invade the education system and turn over the deaths that promote and provoke deception. I have set my army in array to drive out the forces of evil and establish my banner. Revelation will increase and revolution will be its fruits. America will be great again because I've caused it. And Israel once again stand tall. Wars and rumors of wars will increase, allowing exposure of your true enemies and be put down. And my kingdom and government will begin its approach as my body prepares the way. The storm that approaches will bring chaos and confusion, but not for my people. Out of the storm will bring harvest and blessings. I will expose the false resources and become the true source, invading every level of humanity's idolatry and change the course into a new season and a new world. Prepare a way of escape only for my beloved. Hear, my children, from the father of true love and stay hidden in me. One of the things that the Lord put on my heart is, is during this time of the storm, because we've been in like what we call uh, the eye of the storm. We haven't seen the revival. We've seen revival years ago. But right now, it's just like a, a calm. It's a, it's a blessing. It's been calm right now. But we haven't seen the great pouring out. And it is coming. That's what 2018 is about.